We're seeing some pushback by studios over in Japan and this idea that they need to change things for Western audiences. And this is a concern. It it 100% is a concern because money coming in from the West and other places is starting to outweigh how much something makes in Japan. And the reason that that's bad is that means people will start getting whispers in their ear. Hey, if you really want this to do well, it needs to make that Western money. Maybe don't make this miss this character too sexy. Maybe don't have this much violence. Maybe don't tell this story. They won't like that in the West. You already see a lot of this happening financially. There's Crunchyroll now investing directly into these companies over in Japan. Uh, I believe Fire Force, the anime Fire Force, actually has people from Crunchyroll uh, helping with that project. So you have people from outside of Japan now directly working on some of these projects and It's a little concerning to me because you know damn well everybody in any kind of entertainment field over here in the West is woke now, and they just bring in their buddies and more like-minded people. It's one of the reasons why Western Western entertainment is in the dilemma that it's in right now. But a bunch of people over in Japan that work in manga or anime have come out recently and pushed back on this. Now we have the president of the studio that makes Naruto and Bleach coming out and saying, you make animation with this kind of mindset, it's going to become boring. And he's right. I've talked about this before. Uh, One of the best people to break this down was the guy who made the Yakuza uh, stuff, the Yakuza series for Sega. He said, I'm not going to change it to get a Western female audience, they already like it for what it is. And he was 100% right. You don't change this stuff hoping people will jump on. People will like it for what it is. And if you start changing with the formulas and making changes for the West and letting them colonize your stuff, uh, you are going to have a problem. And I could see this this market crashing. People don't go to Japanese entertainment or at this point, Korean entertainment because of Stellar Blade and K-pop and all of this stuff. Like There's stuff over there that's popular too because they're looking for Western values. They enjoy, they enjoy these things for what it is. So here's what he had to say. Should our medium change its core identity In order to attract overseas audiences, the results will become increasingly boring. Continues to say, while talking about Naruto and how popular it is, he says 30% of sales come from overseas audiences with the trio of series, which is, of course, Naruto, Shippuden, and Baruto. And their related films being the far best sellers, the studio boss asserted, I am endlessly grateful to have had the opportunity to meet and produce a great work that will become a long-term series that will last for years. However, it is difficult to make a work that will be popular overseas or that will become a long-term series. To this end, he says, of course, you can aim for that top half. If you make animation with that in mind, it will become increasingly boring. We don't make characters smoke in order to take some series overseas, he continued. We have to make a violence, make the violence a little less violent, avoid sexy expressions. If Japanese animation is bound by such restrictions on expression, there is no way that people overseas will want to watch it. Remember, uh, there was smoking in Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. I don't, oh yeah, there are characters that still do because in Baruto, 
I forget his name, but that guy, he's like a scientist. He smokes. So they've had characters smoking the whole time. Uh, drawing his thoughts to a close, he affirms, works that are a hit in Japan are also a hit overseas. I believe that we must not make the mistake of approaching anime production in the wrong way. So, I mean, I think that's that's great to hear. And I know it's it's not like he's making a big deal about it and running around. He's just, It's just from an interview. I think it's a good thing, and it's great to hear this. Because for this to stay special, it needs to keep doing what it's always been doing and not make changes for these weirdos over here in the West. And there's a lot of them. And it's funny, they always say that they're big anime fans, and they're the ones that are screaming their heads off, wanting to change and become more Western. It's uh, it's crazy to watch, but it's nice to hear this kind of statement because, I mean, anime is really one of the last forms of entertainment that's not touched by a lot of these radicals. You can go into this knowing it's not going to have a bunch of woke ideologue bullshit, which is happy. It makes me happy because, I mean, I find new shit all the time to watch and, and take a look at and see if I like, watch a couple episodes, see if it's for me. It's nice to be able to do that with something and not have to wonder if it's going to try to tell me that uh, women should be manly or something or some other weird, weird shit like praising communism or something. So hopefully uh, more people come out and start having this kind of mindset uh, because, I mean, look what's happening with Sony. Sony Entertainment moved all their shit to California, and look what happened to them. You know, yeah, we get a Stellar Blade, but that's an oddity with them. <laughs> Just just because Stellar Blade is is there doesn't mean that Sony is going to change. Uh, Sony is one of the biggest places of censorship out there. I'm actually surprised that they're even allowing Stellar Blade to be made, to be honest. Because if anybody's been censoring shit left and right, it's Sony. Capcom is another one. Capcom is trying to go for this global market. Uh, they've pretty much fallen. And it sucks because Capcom has a lot of franchises that I like, like Mega Man. Can't wait for them to make Mega Man. That's going to be a funny one. So I'd like to see more of this. I'd like to see more people that make entertainment from Japan having this mindset. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free, but if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.